somewhere out there in a mirror universe, mirror red is power, mirror me is regretting his decision not to get the laser surgery done to his eyes. And now, today, is completely blind. Or at least for one eye, because um, it's the right eye that's causing the problem and why I'm making the announcement as of right now for the foreseeable future. I know I said I wasn't going to be doing any more toy reviews on Transformer products, but now I'm going to not be doing any toy reviews on any products for the foreseeable future until this clears up. It is just a sloppy mess. There's so many blood spots on my right eye right now, and it's just, it's going to be a while before I can actually see out of this eye completely again. Here's the thing, though. I know that you guys are starting to worry about my situation. Well, fear not, okay? This all has to do with the operation that I had last summer with my eyes getting all these clots that I had in the back to receive. This is a work in progress that unfortunately took a hiatus and now it's starting to kick back in. It's a work in progress that is a good thing. Stay positive about this, guys. So, yeah, I had all these operations done to both my left and right eyes last year. And now I'm starting to see the effects of them. Why they're starting to kick in now, I have no idea. That's life. But um, one of the blood vessels in my right eye popped last night. Just popped. And the blood splatter got to the lens. So it's a blinding mess at the moment. I can still see. I'm still cleared to actually drive and uh, go to work and do my job. But as it is right now for hobbies, it's very irritating, and I just can't put up with it. So, I don't know how long it's going to be till it completely goes away. My doctor is telling me that it would probably be about a month or two, and I'm supposed to see him again at the uh, starting point of next month. So, if it hasn't recovered by then, if it hasn't gone away on its own, unfortunately, it would be another month before I can actually go see my um, surgical eye doctor to get this actually cleaned out manually. And, uh, oh boy, I, I can imagine the bill on that one. But um, I'll pay it. Whatever it takes, I'll pay it. If this is something that could have been done right away, I would have just gone up there right now and said, Hey, doc, go ahead and take care of this right now. I'll pay the bill. No matter what it takes, just want my vision back. Well, doesn't work that way. For some reason, I don't know why, my specialist cannot actually do anything about this eye situation for like three months. I don't know anything about this, okay? All I know is what I've been told. Blood vessel in the back of my eye popped, which means it's a sign of recovery from everything that I went through last year with my vision issue. It's starting to recover. It's a slow burning process, but unfortunately, the pop was so explosive, much more than that exploding ring last night at Revolution. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but uh, joking aside, yeah, it exploded to the point where the blood splatter got to the front of my lens, even though it's not really the outside front. It, it's on the inside, and I can't do anything about it. I can't clean it out using any kind of fluid myself. It has to drain on its own. I have to sit up in a 90 degrees position day in, day out. I can't sleep flat on my bed anymore. I have to, st I have to stack pillows behind me. I have to stay up at a certain angle in order to help this drain out on its own. And it's going to be weeks and weeks of recovery. And I can't put up with seconds of it looking at a certain object in my hand right now. Right now, it's a really big mess. Hopefully, it's going to get clearer as the weeks go by. But right now, I can't put up with this. So, I'm just not going to do any reviews on anything for a while. I'm staying away from YouTube. I might watch videos from you guys and others out there. But as it is right now, I'm not going to be making videos for your viewing pleasure. I'm putting it all on hold until this mess is uh, said and done. Until this storm passes, everything's put on hold. And it could be a while. Like my doctor said, it could be a month or two. Or it could be until I get this 
surgically cleaned up by my specialist, which unfortunately can't see me for three freaking months. Are you, are you for real? Like, really? What What is up with that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just telling you guys what I've been addressed. So I'm laying the message to you guys, and I'm laying it hard. Don't be expecting anything from me on this channel for a while until I'm good and ready to come back because my vision has completely recovered. Until then... Wow, it's a it's a real mess. If only you guys could actually see what's happening in my right eye right now. There's so much blood. There's, there's so many spots of red that it, it looks weird looking in a mirror and realizing, hey, my right eye is still white. It, it's not red, but it should be red because my vision on the inside is turning red. It it's it's so much a mess here, but it does not affect my vision of driving. And I'm grateful for that. So I can still work my job. I can still travel to my job. But boy, it's such an eyesore. Maybe not painfully, but emotionally, it's bothering me so badly. I wish I could do something about it, but I can't at this time. It's too early. But in the end, this is all good news because it's a sign of recovery from many years of neglect from my diabetes... So much has happened in the back of my eyes to the point where my vision was getting so clawed up that I could have lost it. Had I not got the uh, that operation last year, mirror me would have been me. It would have been me. I would have lost my right eye as of today. And I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm very relieved. I'm very happy. I'm so, I'm so praising the Lord right now that didn't happen. But anything could happen in the future, so I gotta be cautious about these things. I have to do what is necessary to better myself. And the only way to do that is one step at a time. And that step is I've gotta keep an eye on my on my health in regards to anything. I mean, not just diabetes, I'm talking anything. No more neglect. I've got to do what is necessary. I'm paying the bills now. I'm paying for it for sure, big time. But that's part of the recovery that I, I should have been doing from the very beginning. I mean, I, I should have taken every liberty that I had, every moment. I should have put more focus on that than my hobbies. I should have done the right thing, what is necessary, and I didn't. Now I'm paying for it. Good news is, though, it wasn't too late to turn it around. Unfortunately, though, the sacrifice is this channel. But that doesn't really mean much, now does it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm full of laughs today. But um, I'm just trying to make myself feel better from all this news. Anyway, I, I think that's a good way to end this video. I, I will keep you guys posted on updates. I'll just do like quick behind the mic talk segments here to let you guys know as the weeks go by how I'm feeling, what my what my eye is experiencing, and whether or not it's getting any better or it's getting worse, and I have to go get it manually cleaned out in the coming months. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, I mean, it's just me stuttering right now, trying to figure out a way to end this. So I guess I'll just end it the way I usually do. If you have any questions or comments, any advice, yeah, I'm listening. Feel free to leave it down below in the comment section of this video. And until then, whenever you hear from me again, or you see something posted on this channel, this is your unprofessional toy reviewer, Red is Power, signing off, saying fairly well, so long, goodbye, get out, and thanks for watching.